Lauren Thomas Johnson, you're a guard. Yes. Tell me something about you that I don't know. Mm, that you don't know? Um, I have eight tattoos. You've got eight tattoos. Now, yes. I've seen two. I have this one. The past is practice. And then I have this. What's that one say? That says Te Amo. Can we show that one to the camera? Me and Azania both have this. It means I love you in Spanish. Then I have this. It's a Roman numeral six for my grandfather. He's born on the 6th of March. And we won't ask about the other five? No, you don't want to know about this. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your nickname? I've got a nickname. What's your nickname? Low or LTJ. Would you prefer? I don't mind. LTJ is fine. A lot of people, especially in England, call me LTJ. So. Now, in England, uh, you were born in? Manchester. And you spent most of your living years in? Um, well, I spent two years in Virginia. Uh, well, two years in DC, two years in Iowa, and two and a half years in Milwaukee. And your favorite? DC, okay. for sure. So you had to go to America to basically pursue your basketball career? Definitely, yep. And how long have you been playing? Um, since I was eight, I left when I was 16. It's just something, you know, I had to do. I didn't really want to stay here because basketball here you, at a certain age stops and I wanted to keep going. So I told my mum and dad one day, my mum didn't believe me. She's like, oh, okay, yeah, all right. And then I told my dad and then I started to research it and then she was kind of like, okay. She's serious. There's a little bit more to you than yeah, basketball, yeah, I, I yeah. suppose. I've got eight tattoos. <laughs> but, is it, but it's right at the essence of you. Can you yeah, ever imagine definitely. yourself not being a basketball player? I could imagine myself being a table tennis player, but that probably be Did, do that again? Because your action doesn't look oh, I'm rubbish. authentic. I'm rubbish, okay. honestly. I've but been... you just did. What is it about table tennis that you enjoy? It's just so good, so fast and... And then when the person hits it back soft and you can come back and be like... <clears throat> And their face, they just look really upset. It's awesome. <laughs> into their face. Uh, moving on. You're into your music? Yes, definitely. Obviously. Favourite definitely. artist? Have you got um, one? I'd say at the moment, probably Drake. Drake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad? Yeah, yeah he's all right. Yeah. Find the love? Uh, no. What's your favourite Drake song? Favourite Drake song at the moment is No Lie. Okay. Him and 2 Chains. Yeah. I like that song. Nice. Mm -hmm. So you're a bit of a dancer as well? Yeah, I like to think of myself as... I used to dance before I played basketball. I used, used to, to dance. dance, yeah. What kind of dance? Tap, ballet and modern. I was rubbish at it all. That's why I picked basketball. But I used to do it. Yeah, but I was really, really good. Can you stand up and give us some steps now? Do you want some steps? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, let's have a little look. Let's you want some better. steps? I yeah. can do tap dance. Go on then, do the some time steps. Step. You ready? <laughs> okay, that's not bad. Now I want you to do some kind of dancing that you do on a Saturday night at a club in London. You ain't ready for that. <laughs> We're so ready for that. No. We're not getting that. No, you're not ready for that. She called it and she didn't deliver. <laughs> so your dreams and aspirations for 2012? Dreams and aspirations for 2012, make the GB 2012 Olympic team and go in there and scare some people, shake some things up. Because you don't look scary, you know, it's too pretty to be scared. Oh, I'm, I'm really, really nice. But once we step on this court, we're not friends. Yeah? Yes. You turn into a beast. Yeah, definitely. So you're point guard. You're the person that basically gets the ball and carries it forward. Well, I'm like the two, more the two. I don't really do that. I don't really bring it up. I'm more of the one that we get it in the, on the wing and I, we run the play from there, basically. If I could be your fairy godfather, wave a magic wand, who would Team GB be playing in the final? Who would Team GB be playing in the... Who would you like to beat the most? Russia, because we got so close to them last year in um, Poland. And I just think... I just think they underestimated us. So I just want to go back and just show them what we've got. Show them a year later that, yeah, we're a lot... We're the same team, but, you know, we're a lot better and a lot stronger and a lot tougher. They didn't like that about us. That's the one thing the coach took away from that game. We wasn't backing down, we was tough. You we, seem like you got a bit about you. Yeah, definitely. Okay, definitely. and a, a word, a message for us? Support us, Team GB, women's basketball. We're ready to uh, stir some things up, scare some people. Tune in. Lauren, it's been a pleasure. Thanks. Go get them. Yep.